welcome back to my channel so my name is Karita if you're new and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my postpartum must-haves um, this is my third time postpartum so I have three beautiful babies they are eight four and four months and I wanted to do this video because I like many of you searched the internet for postpartum things um, when I was pregnant this last go around with my son um, because things change everybody's opinion is different i know my opinion has changed with each pregnancy the things that i use things that i felt like were my ride or die all of it was very different with each child so i wanted to film a video just to share what i use and what i feel are must-haves if you are postpartum or you're about to be postpartum so i hope you enjoy this video so before i jump into the video i did want to say that yes i have been gone for a whole month and that's because life just kind of hit me upside the head girl like I don't know what I was thinking but I should have known better with each child I feel like it's taken me about four months postpartum to get into a rhythm to get a flow except with Carmen because Carmen was my first so she was an only child and she was my only responsibility and I had a whole lot of help with Carmen um, and so it was just different and I also wanted to say thank you guys so much I reached a thousand subscribers a few days ago and that really touched my heart because I've been on YouTube about mm, six years now and I finally reached a thousand subscribers, so that was a big deal for me. So thank you so much for those of you who are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. Join my YouTube family. Let's finally get into the video. So like I said before, I am four months postpartum and everything I'm gonna mention, I did use regularly and I, I made my list off of what I use, not what, you know, quote unquote popular. So the first thing on my list to have postpartum, which kind of is a no brainer, but it is important is nursing bras if you plan to breastfeed should i add so personally i only had three nursing bras when i came home um, with my son that's because i only wore nursing bras when i was pregnant towards the end and i only bought three because um, i didn't really know how breastfeeding was going to go for me and i did not want to invest in a bunch of nursing bras and then eventually like not use them so i only had three and within the first I think 48 hours of me being home so he was about four or five days old at that point I was online ordering bras galore because I do wash like every other day but for some reason I just didn't have enough bras so I highly recommend at least getting a week's worth of nursing bras if you know you want to breastfeed um I have two kind I have the kind that clips down that you nurse and then the kind that I have on now that you just kind of pull to the side to nurse and this one is called a sleeping bra I do like it but it's not very supportive if you're looking for support or if you're heavier than I am definitely look into the kind that has the clips because those you know do offer a little bit more support but nursing bras are a must because of course you need to be able to nurse your baby as well as support the girls because the girls need a lot of support when they're you know full of milk the next thing I highly recommend is compression underwear. I found mine on Amazon. I am going to put a picture on the screen here. Um, a YouTuber recommended them to me and I went out on a limb. I bought them, I bought them my true size, a size medium. Um, I did not feel the need to size up. They fit me perfectly. They were a little tight when I first was postpartum, like the first few days, because I still had a little bit of belly. I mean, I still have a belly, let me not lie, but I had a little more belly then. And I like them because they kind of help hold everything up i did not have a c-section so they may be a little uncomfortable if you did have a cesarean but um if you deliver vaginally compression underwear was very nice more or less it's compressing on the stomach area it just kind of holds you in place so you don't really feel as loose i guess um and to touch on that i did have a stomach binder that they sent me home with and then my mom gave me one and i wore it for two days and it made me feel more nauseous than supported. I think it was just too tight. And personally, I think that you don't need them now that I've had um, three children. I did not wear it with Carmen. I did wear one with Kelsey and I wore one with Kaden. And I don't really see the results with the compression binders or the, the stomach binders that they give you. I think that you can get away with compression underwear or Spanx to kind of give you that support because the binders, they really are constricting and I don't think they're really that healthy for your organs, if I'm just being honest, to be like, you know, smushed in that tight. But definitely the compression underwear and Spanx, those two are my go-to the first like four weeks home. I wore the compression underwear and then I wore Spanx on top and that kind of helped me feel a little more supported um, because like I said, it's my third baby and everything kind of just felt a little 
bleh, down there it felt just loose um hopefully that makes sense to y'all but yeah compression underwear and spanx were a must for me and i highly recommend those if you don't want to go the route of a stomach binder which i kind of don't recommend anyway but yeah so to go along with that um i recommend these breast heating pads i have mine right here actually because i just got done using them um but these are little heating pads that you pop in the microwave they look like this and mine are by the brand Lensino. I think that's how you say it. But if you type it in on Amazon or Walmart or Target, they come up. I think they were like 12 or 15. I don't know. They weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive. But they do work. I only have one set and they work really well. You just pop them in the microwave. Um, I do mine a little long. I do mine for about 15 seconds. It's recommended only for about 10 seconds. But I like mine kind of super, super hot so that... I can wear them longer but pretty much you just heat them up and they're like a heating pad for your breast because when your milk comes in if you get engorged you, if you don't know when your milk comes in and you get engorged um your breasts do get really really tender and your breast being tender plus nursing on demand is a uh, painful combination so i highly recommend these because it does help ease the pain some people put ice but i can't tolerate ice like ice is a little too cold and so for me the heat of these feels really nice and soothing to your sore and gorgeous breast and what i like about these is it's not a full circle so you can kind of manipulate it so i like to put mine kind of down around this side because for me personally i got a lot of pain under my breast when my milk came in so um, being able to put this under my breast really comforted me a lot. There are some that are full circle, but I didn't feel like those, you know, you could manipulate very well in your bra, but I like these. So sticking with the breast, um, I highly recommend nipple cream. The hospital does give you some. Um, I personally like the Medela over the Lensino. Lensino, I don't know, I'll put a picture on the screen because my actual nipple cream is in my nursery and my son is asleep and I'm not about to go in there. But the purple tube, I did not like. It was too thick. Um, and I do think the brand matters because I've tried three different brands. My mom got me the Parents' Choice brand, which is the Walmart brand. The Walmart brand one didn't like absorb into the skin very well. So I put it on and like three hours later when I went to nurse again, it was still pretty much on there. Um, same with the Lensino brand. I didn't like that brand either because again, it did not absorb very well. I personally like the Medela brand. Um, and I actually didn't have to buy any. My hospital sent me home with about eight little, you know, travel size tubes. And I still have some left because you just put like a little small amount you put it on your nipple and a little bit on the areola if your areola needs it. Mine needed it because he wasn't latching properly the first few days. So my breasts were just tore up the first like three or four days. But the nipple cream saved it because it was kind of just soothing and allowed them to heal. So the next thing on my list is a peri bottle. I know Freedom Mom makes a popular one that has the upside down like V shape that you can just pretty much squirt straight up there. I used the one the hospital gave me and it worked just fine. But I also took it like a step further and I ordered a bidet. I don't know what you call it. I ordered a bidet from Amazon um, when I was about seven months pregnant. Whenever we moved into this house. So back in like April, I think I was like seven months pregnant. But yeah, I ordered a bidet from Amazon. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like an attachment on your toilet that you put on there and you can like, it squirts water and cleans down there for you. So I knew when we purchased our first home, I wanted to get a bidet installed because we lived in South Korea for a year. And over there, all the restrooms in the homes come with a bidet. Every toilet has one. And so I got really, really bougie and I loved it over there. And I always knew I wanted one and I got it on Amazon for about $55 and I love it. So along with the Perry bottle, I used the bidet to kind of help clean down there um, during that time. And I still use it, of course, but it was very helpful so if you own your home or you're renting and you want to make the change i highly recommend a bidet over a peri bottle because at least with the bidet you're already sitting there and the water is warm and it goes straight up and it, it feels a lot better than having to fill up the bottle go to the bathroom do your business and all that but either a good peri bottle or a bidet highly recommend because you're gonna need it to clean down there essentially so my next must have are open front pajamas. If you're gonna nurse, you really want them because it's easy to get access, especially at nighttime. If you're trying to take a t-shirt off or whatever, open front pajamas are just the way to go because you just unbutton a button or two, nurse your baby, button back up, you're good to go. So 
those are my go-to pajamas right now especially because i am still nursing and i do like to be in pajamas versus t-shirts when i'm at home but so yeah highly recommend open front pajamas target has my favorite ones the stars above line and they had another line i think a new day makes a pair that i have but i got all mine from target over various trips but definitely check out target if you want cute open front pajamas the next thing on my list is vitamins now i don't see people talk about vitamins a lot here on youtube but i'm gonna tell you you need your vitamins um with carmen i did not take them and i don't really feel like i had anything crazy happen i don't remember my hair shedding i don't remember much about like the negative side of having carmen it was so much going on but with kelsey i had the worst postpartum hair shedding and now I'm having it again. I'm having a lot of hair shedding. And also, I'm having like low energy. So I find that the days I don't take my vitamins like I'm supposed to, my energy is very low because I have low iron and then I'm nursing. So it's a lot on my body. So I highly recommend continuing to taking your prenatal or you can get a postnatal vitamin. I just, I'm taking my prenatal still and I'm taking calcium, iron, and I believe some sort of like vitamin d supplement and i'm also taking a stool softener so i'm taking a lot of stuff right now but i feel like i all i need it all because when i don't take one of them i feel a difference extremely big difference especially when i don't take my iron pill because it helps you know with my energy levels so i just highly recommend taking your vitamins even after giving birth because it's so important for you and the baby to stay healthy and also to stay hydrated now the next thing on my list is disposable underwear with my first two, I did not wear disposable underwear. I wore what the hospital gave, which was just, you know, that huge pad and the mesh underwear. Hated it. Don't do it, girl. I wore the always discreet, overnight, some sort of name. I'll have it on the screen over here. But those things were game changer. Um, I love them. My mom got them for me. And she also got me these other pair of disposable underwear. I'll put a picture of those on the screen. Those I don't recommend at all because they were not comfortable. The always ones, they were very comfortable. I got a size small medium and I fit them well. They stayed in place. I slept in them. I never had an accident or any leaking um, and they did stay dry and they weren't drying. So they stayed dry and they weren't drying. Now the other ones that I got, um, they were very dry to me. Like they had something in them just was a little too dry and they irritated me. And when you give birth, you don't want anything that irritates you down there. So I did not use those, but maybe like a few days and then I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, but so I only needed one pack actually because I did not bleed as heavy this time for some reason. So it worked out perfectly. I didn't have anything, you know, extra or go to waste, but highly recommend the for underwear over the little like pad sickle things because they're just more convenient. You just leave them in the bathroom, put them on, take them off, throw them away. Just go the underwear route and do everything else inside the pad. So the next thing on my list is a hands-free pumping bra. Um, unless you have a hands-free pump, you don't need that. But I have the Spectra S1, I believe. I got my bra from Walmart. Um, now it doesn't fit that great, I will say. They only had a size medium and large and I just happened to randomly find it one day. I need a size small for a better fit. I personally want my nursing bra to be a little bit tighter because it helps the flame stay in place when you're pumping but mine's a size medium and it works well. I think it was about $12 from Walmart and essentially you just put it on, you put your breast pump flanks inside and you pump hands free and that's all I can say about it. But I do think that it's a must have because pumping is annoying as is. So you don't want to be sitting there holding the flames and pumping. Definitely just get a hands free bra so at least you can eat dinner or you know play with your baby or whatever you need to get done while you pump. And lastly, on my list of postpartum must-haves, which is just a must-have in general, is a big water bottle. Um, I have a Hydro Flask amongst hundreds of other water bottles, but the Hydro Flask is my personal favorite. It keeps my water cold when I fill it up with ice. Now, don't, don't be fooled by the Hydro Flask. It is pricey like a Yeti, but I found that if I don't put ice in it, my water doesn't stay as cold. So with a Yeti, the water stays cold, in my opinion, with or without ice, if you put in cold water. But with the Hydro Flask, I have to put ice in there for it to stay cold. And I just, I personally like cold water. So highly recommend any kind of big water bottle, like 30 ounces or more, because it is so important to stay hydrated. You're losing a lot of blood at this time. If you're nursing, you are feeding someone else. And of course you need so much water with breast milk. So you gotta stay hydrated. 
and to me a bigger water bottle is a reminder for me to drink water and refill it and plus it's easier to reach my goal which is a gallon a day when I have a bigger bottle because I can pretty much chug um, the 40 ounces about three times a day so I'll drink a full bottle around the morning time I'll drink a full bottle in the afternoon and then I'll drink a full bottle in the evening and then I've hit my gallon for the day so can't recommend a big water bottle enough so yeah those are my 10 must-have postpartum things that I use every single day um, and they helped me a lot in the beginning and I found that using those things kind of made my journey a little bit easier now i will say there are things that i did not mention that i use daily but they're not necessarily a must have for every single person because they're just kind of like what i use because i do have two other kids but overall those are things that i use every day and that i cannot say enough good things about they brought me comfort during a very trying time and yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.